great says that. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the round 16 match between Lovell Up, who is looking all numbers on Twitch, and Daedalquist, who is now Daedalquist on Twitch. Well, always was Daedalquist. Used to be Garg Flagel Snap or something, wasn't he? Whatever it was. He was. But now he's Daedalquist. Yep. And in this the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm Dimmy G. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. We've got an instant removal. That was a Hayuken. Um, right there. Fuck off, Dimmy. Yeah, so Level Up has a wizard and just a wizard inducements. Daedle. Could Daedle. Oh, no, 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 no. There's, there's something else he's got. Is that? Can you? Can you guess what it oh, is? Oh, Eldril! Eldril, yeah, I saw oh. him. Oh! I saw him, yeah, Eldril. Yeah, like, yeah. A wizard and something else. That yep. something else is like a uh, kind of wizard-esque star player. Yes, a very good star player. It's uh, There's another Natty, or is this a Blitzer? That's a Blitzer. a Blitzer. So not a Natty. You can tell with the way he's doing the splits. Yes, he was running when I asked, in my defence. <laughs> he's... Uh, 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 overturned that move. Yeah. <laughs> and there's only 11 players for Daedal. Is there? <laughs> yes. He yes, just... there is. Oh, no, yeah. no, there isn't. There's... Wait, why is this guy off the field? Did he start with Sprint Gym? <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm confused. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Why wasn't this guy on the so field? one in the test box. But why the wasn't the guard on the field? Did he have too many good players? Yeah, probably. Yeah, he must have just literally had too many good players on his team. <laughs> Doodle's team is too good to field a guard catcher. Unbelievable. It's he's, got good, two, he's, he's got two Shown 4 wrestles. He's got Agi 5. He's got a war dance with shipboard tackle. A mighty blow tackle sidestep dancer got like, got like yeah give the guy a break yeah he's, he's literally he literally just had to put this chump on the LOS but his team was too good uh. to feel the guard catcher and it turned out to be a genius decision because that chump got punched yeah. in the face straight away and died yeah cast instantly so yeah lot, lots of good players for the uh, wood elves and some good players for the pro elves though right There's the, uh, this frenzy guy is pretty cool move nine guy is somewhat interesting. <laughs> Dirty player gets a gets a kill. Lovely. Yeah, Dirty player. player. And that's like that is something the pearls hold over uh, Woody's is the cheap linos that, that you can go DP on. People say this, but I don't know how much I believe it. I mean, it's a 70k dirty player is much better than a 90k dirty player, isn't it? Yeah, but like it's See? not. It's not really. <laughs> it's 80 yeah, versus 90. It's only 10 cheaper. That's it's they're, they're 50, 60. isn't it? No, a Lino. They're 60. They're 60. Linos are 60. Uh, if they were 50, they'd be insanely. All oh, right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Sorry. But like they're they're like their their positionals are more expensive than high elves. And like, okay, you can afford more of them, but then they die easier. Oh, like this guy. Mmm, <laughs> he is dead, Jim. Yep, Apple works this time. Though, Disgusting days. Apple working. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, so Daedal's Apple failed and uh, Loblop's Apple worked, so he's obviously playing the better Blob Ball. Yep, well, you know, you could say that Daedal deserved death by taking mighty blows at a guard, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit harsh, but I really don't like Mighty Blow on Linos when you've got dancers, right? Your dancers are going to be blitzing all the time, aren't they? So it's like, you want strength but guys. Strength my, guys my, blitz all the time. And, I yeah. absolutely agree with you, Jim, but my, my argument would be when you play as many games of CCL as Daedal, any weird little thing like that to make it more fun is probably very important uh, because... He plays too much Blood Bowl, basically, and uh, he, yeah, if you just took it seriously the whole time, you'd go crazy. Some people might say he is crazy, though, so, hmm. Yes. Yeah, this, maybe there's a co correlation. This would have been a power, right, in Blood Bowl 3, because the Hypnotic Gaze would have taken away his dodge and his block. Yeah. And then it would have turned it into a 75% knockdown. Very excellent. Yeah, Eldrill, even better in 2020. 
Didn't they buff the roll as well? He had a two plus, and he gets to re-roll it once per game. <laughs> yep. So he's almost got auto hypno gears now. I like this blitz back into it. Ooh, not like that though. Blitz it back into here for more more hits. That was was that a misclick? Uh, no, no. You wanted to re-roll the mighty blow hit. But if, if he'd pushed to here, he could have got more and more hits. Maybe he just thought he didn't want to walk a block, he wanted to get something downfield to defend. Oh, right, yeah, I think I might be talking about a different turn. Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> to go up in cost. I mean, to be fair, he's pretty cheap, right? Yeah. In twenty in, in this for, in this uh, rule set, Eldrew was... Very, I think Eldrew was one of the best star players. Yeah, he is. He is. Like, if you if you take Costin into effect, then, like, yeah, absolutely think he's up there as one of the best. Yep. I mean, like, what's worse than a than an elf star player? It's like an elf vampire star player, you know? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty insane. It's insane, isn't it? He's just banging he's it just in, isn't he? He's banging it in. I put it, why, he he's got an, an age cage already, like... He was invincible. He could have even meat cubed. He could have meat cubed with Eldrill. He could have had a full nine meat cube. <laughs> we all know you love the meat cube, Jim. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love a meat cube? Oxo. <laughs> Do they still make Oxo cubes? Probably. Oh, dear. Uh, so, yeah, interesting, though, isn't it? That's an interesting. It's not what I would have done. But, um, it was, yeah, it was a decision. It was mm. made. Mm. And, uh, we'll see. Daedal's one turn isn't great, is it? Like, so it's not as if, like, you know, he was hyper scared of the one turn, like, if this, this guy he's had... Got, he's got three side steppers, not he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, he, he shouldn't be scared of the one turn, should he? So... There's grab. Ah, there is grab. But still, even with grab, like I just don't think the the one turn is that good. If you were super scared of the one turn, then fair enough. Or and like the ball sack wasn't that scary either, was it? Like he's just got he's just got normal dances. He doesn't have edge five or strength four dances or anything. Like he doesn't have his edge five strength five one from the other season. So like he could have just kept kept it on his strength four and kept hold of it, and he would have been pretty much immune to uh, to shenanigans almost. Like not really, but pretty good. But Sounds like Jim's never been red dice sacked with double powers before. I have been many times. Yeah, and I have been, and I have done that to people as well, so it's like, it's here. Yeah. But I've also conceded in four turns to Woody's, and I think that's a lot more likely. <laughs> <laughs> Five turns. Uh, but I guess these got the wizard, but the wizard just isn't that good in elf mirrors, is it? Uh, I mean, it's still pretty good. It can be, yeah. Yeah, it's still, like, I think it's, like, it's better in an elf mirror than what it is a bash team against an elf team. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, sometimes I'm a bash team and I take a wizard against an elf team and I'm just like, what's the point? <laughs> like, come on, like, this is pathetic. I can't get anywhere near his triple screen yeah. side cage. Whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? So, oh, I can bolt the first guy and blitz the other guy and base the blodger who's actually five. Pretty <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. wrong snake, like, yeah. Yeah, as a bash team, it's usually insurance against getting your ball stolen. Or, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. making a hole if they're elf screening you too hard. Like, yeah, or if you need to get to their, like, star player and you can bolt him and just foul him. I've done that before as well. Like, yeah. I've, bolt I've just bolted an AG5 and fouled it because I could. Because yeah. I'm, I'm a savage. <laughs> and I, get I get so tilted when I play elves. <laughs> just 3-0 down, it's like, yeah, I'm just going to bolt your best player and foul him constantly. That's quite reasonable. <laughs> It's all that's left to do sometimes, isn't there? Like, especially if they get a blitz or something early. Like, it's just so mm -hmm. painful. They're so good. Like, good elf coaches are the worst. Yeah. Best. Frenzy getting in the knockdown here. Yeah, I was uh, very critical about Frenzy, and uh, it was completely proved wrong. Um, right there. Well, I think but, it's I think it's different when it's on strength four. That's the thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there, there is that as well, yeah. Strength 4 makes it a lot better. Mm. But strength 4 Blodge Stepper is, with Diving Tackle is also pretty amazing. Yeah. 
with tackle. True. Tackle, dive and tackle. Because then it's true. really hard. Like, you don't want to blitz him because obviously he's sidestep plus his strength four. Yeah. And yeah, it's just an absolute nightmare. He doesn't have a bribe, but he's got a reserve. He's got dirty players, so why shouldn't he? And Daedal's like every player on Daedal's team is better than every player on his team, so why shouldn't he keep fouling? <laughs> the problem is this is just a big man commitment, wasn't it? There, that was a big, that was a big yeah. positional commitment to make that foul. That was. I don't give a flip if he score. I'm just gonna try and remove someone good. Yeah, which is pretty weird. It is a little bit weird, yeah. Uh, but the Daedal hasn't got a scoring threat, and uh, he's got an elf for turn, and elves are fast, so. Mm. And he's got the whiz as well, so like Daedal can't really push too far because like he's got to still protect himself yeah, somewhat. Because there's the whiz and there's Eldril as well, so like it's yeah, whiz. It's, it's just nonsense, isn't it? It's just complete nonsense. <clears throat> Did I not like that? I, I, I didn't say I didn't like it. I'm just saying it was a big commitment, wasn't it? So like as it happened. Daedal wasn't able to put yeah, it. So yeah, like, like he could have been in a better position had he not taken the foul. Um, yeah. well, I don't hate you. I just, uh... Yeah, well, exactly, Store, right? That's why That's why I wouldn't have scored early. <laughs> that's exactly the point. Yeah, it's not like you're going to stop these woodies. So. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, but the the the, the thing is, it he basically took away the the wizard as an option because by having his strength four over that side, wasn't it basically? Like he took too much over here, so he couldn't threaten the wizard. If he'd stayed central, then at least he's got the threat of the wizard. But he took away himself the, the threat of the wizard that turn. But I can't wait for this, Jim. Oh dear. <laughs> Can't wait for this, guys. You're in for a treat. I'm, I'm sure I've seen this, but I just can't remember it. <laughs> Are you? I mean, there's, we watch so many Chalice games. I mean, it's going to be amazing, whoa, guys. Whoa. Yeah, I watched this live. I commented it live with you, didn't you? Oh, yeah, of course you did. Oh, yeah, yeah I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does the handoff naked GFIs, doesn't he? I didn't understand yeah. this either. Yeah, this was bonkers, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Uh, it was just, yeah, it was it was a good s sequence of events. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, didn't it understand was either either person's part. Yeah, it's entertaining, very entertaining. It was. No spoilers. It was a bloodborne match. He's, he's got a reroll, but he's got his stacks the rerolls. Oh. Gets them. Easy. Like, that makes more sense on Daedal's end because there's a wizard and there's Eldril. Yeah. But um, I would have still tried to stall it out. I mean, he could have run backwards that turn, couldn't he? Because. Yeah. <laughs> but then, like, I guess you don't want to. But he could have run out of range of Eldril and the wizard. So, well, not out of range of the wizard, obviously, but out of range of Eldril. You know. yeah. Kept a couple of scoring threats up. But... Yeah. Interesting decision to. Uh... Allow the best two turning race in the game a two turn chance. <laughs> the best in the game? They're the best at two turning, yeah. What? I think. Pro elves? Mm. Are better got, than wood elves? Yeah, they've got, they got Nurse of Steel, haven't they? So you can't even. Oh. You can't even, like, stop them. <laughs> what about Skaven? Fantastic. Skaven have only got four good players. <laughs> you agree with Jimmy? Wow. Bancor Knight. <laughs> Bancor Knight. Hello, Store. I haven't. Is it you, Store? We were thinking it might be you, but then. But then, um. Oh, it proves it isn't Store. Uh, we, we figured it, it would have a better win rate if it was you. <laughs> but even then, like, 69% is pretty good, seeing as he's doing. He's sniping a lot of good players, isn't he? Is it actually Store, is it? No, it won't be. I still think it'd be. Oh, wow, pitch invasion. Oh wow, that annihilates that annihilates any hole. Uh, <laughs> Diddle had. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's funny. It, it's, it's the two dancers that have stayed up. Yeah. It's the one dancer that stayed up. <laughs> yeah. And he's out for the rest of the drive. Yep. So he's got one dancer to stop. X amount. Four hundred elves. <laughs> yeah. This this catcher should have gone through first, right? 
Oh yeah, Dangerous I remember you, yeah, you was incensed at this, wasn't you? wasn't incensed, but it's just death. You was really. incensed, you was spitting cornflakes everywhere, Jim. You <laughs> was just like, oh my god, how has he not moved that catcher first? This is disgusting. That's I'm not so true. Upset. That's I'm not so true. Upset. It's 100% the truth. It's just watch not Dad true. Watch, it's watch, watch Dadle's um, chalice uh, Pods, <laughs> and you'll see how incensed Jim was that that catcher didn't move before he pitched the wall. <laughs> <laughs> there's there about there's about a ten minute dialogue, at least ten minutes of Jim moaning about the catcher not moving. It's not true. It's not true. It was just it was just uh, Elliot was like saying it's not wrong to have not done it, and I was like, but it is wrong to have not done it. And then so it was made long by Elliot's insistence that it wasn't wrong, but then he did then he did decide that actually it was wrong. <laughs> I didn't I say any of this. I think it was something along those lines. I don't know if it was specifically them words, but it was definitely along those lines. <laughs> I was just, I remember just thinking, calm down, Jimmy. Like, this is not true. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy was like smashing in chairs in the background, <laughs> breaking up words. <laughs> Key keyboards were being slapped against the wall. Oh god! Is this a one D or is it two D? Oh my god! Okay, it's a two D. Yeah. There's a power. But it was into a. A it one. was into a no, it was into a two. Pushed him there. Yeah. Pushed him there. It was into a two. It was a two and a two. It was fine. A Mer. two that could have based the ball, but still. <laughs> yes. Yes. But a seventy-five percent knockdown. So it was, it was a bit dodgy. Maybe he could have arranged the assists better and not taken the hit on the dancer. So it was pretty greedy to take the hit on the dancer. My God, pros. Yep, cheeky pros go, but we've got the diddle one turn. The daddle one turn against three sidesteppers. Easy. I think there's only Easy. two sidesteppers. There's three. Who's got sidestep? Oh no, there's only two, yeah. Mm. No, 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 there's... There's two. There's oh two yeah, that's... What is that? Is that a catcher? Oh. Yeah, it's a catcher, yeah. Oh, it's gone shrimp for frenzy catcher. Wow, I thought that was a. I don't know what I thought that was. To be fair, <laughs> I don't know what he is. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a pretty cool catcher. I quite like that using the frenzy on the strength. Of course, he could have just been strength five if he'd rolled as good as me. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> and Mighty Blow, wasn't it, my one? But if I hadn't rolled Mighty Blow, I'd have probably just taken Tackle. And if I hadn't rolled the second Strength, I'd have probably taken Frenzy. To be fair. You would take Frenzy? Yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I'd go like Strength 4, Block, Tackle. I'd have taken Tackle before the Frenzy. But then, yeah. I would have been, then I'd have been tempted to take the Frenzy. Because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. I'd be moving it, it's good for Dakaring. You know, like, you know, it's movement, like, st strength 4 makes the frenzy so much better. So we're lying on the grab here, which I think is quite reasonable, because, um, you know, like, this is a, you'd have to leap in to hit or whatever, and he's got no reroll, so the, uh, did, so he did miss set up here, and then, uh, mm. rolled the, th rolled the power anyway. Got the cast though. Yep. Not bad. We should hit one of the blitzers now, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, one in nine. Probably should have done a dancer blitz on somebody rather than making a blockless block. But not the end of the world. As we know it. Yep. Might even Might get feel like a three dice block. Wow. Oh, my God. Kickoff event, Jim. Kick off event. Kick off event. What is that weather? Oh, it was heat. It was changed to heat. And uh, uh, wait, what? Uh, 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 yep. Five players for Daedal. What five players, Jim? Um, both dancers, the tree, and both strength fours. Yeah. Four of his so, five best players. Well, five of his six best players. 
And uh, so Dadel's filled in five players for his own drive against... Instead of ten, yeah. Is it against how many? Against uh, three, six, eight instead of ten. Jeez. And then there's the PD. P did he? And so that he was going for the one turn, uh, which was low odds, but there's the only chance he had with five players. <laughs> and then the perfect defense almost stops the one turn, but doesn't stop the one turn. So you could say marks off for level up for not just you know stopping it, but Dadle went for the one turn and failed. And we can say it's almost over. Yeah, and he had the th he had three guys in the middle all tagged on diving tackle side step, which is another factor there. Yeah, yeah, that was brutal, can't, wasn't it? Can't just like dodge off blitz and pick up the ball and cage it like without making serious dodges. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so going for the going for the double dodge blitz side step, and then because then you get to hit him again and get him off diving tackle completely, don't you? So it was definitely the uh, the player to go for the one turn. But. Yeah, what what a shit kickoff event there. Eh? Well, not kick. The pre it was the previous kickoff event. What a shit weather roll. Oh, weather, mate. Sweltering heat is like my one of my least favorite things in Blood Bowl. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, just uh, wanted to say that on turn uh, eight, if I don't want to nine the first block, I could still make the one turn because I'm moving nine sidestep, so I can fill the squares, jump in with the water answer and. Uh, not like not back, um, so that's why I take the one in nine block with the blockless dude. Mm. So it's still on even after the first because I am blitzed yet, um, and yeah. But the, you cast the you cast the non sidestep guy. Yeah, but um, like he set up just one square and back uh, to deny like. Uh, different pushes. So if I just push the sidestep guy, um, even no, like like no matter where he sidesteps, I have enough players because he hasn't like cast enough players, so I can fill all the squares in front of uh, um, in front of me. So I can put like leap in behind the 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 guy on row two. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But then could you have got the, could you have got the additional? Pushes. I only need one push. I only need one push, and it doesn't even need to be a push because I can f fill all the squares for a sidestep. If we're just like to capture a sidestep. But he's not move nine, is he? Oh yeah, he is. No, he's not. Wait, what the fuck am I? <laughs> am I high? No yeah, comment. Uh, no, I need the trees movement now. The trees movement that got a move up, but yeah, he's the only one with a move up, isn't he? There's an agile, agile catcher. Yeah. I don't right. see a move up one. Oh, so, you're right. So I don't know if you could have got the second push. The tree is movement nine. No, the tree is movement up is what I was trying to say. The tree is movement nine. That's a pretty decent tree. Yeah. Anyway, um, in amongst all that, something was happening, but obviously it's pretty much over. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, I have just tried to, uh, you know, click, yeah. elf, click ball. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just a, it was it was an absolute travesty, wasn't it? The, uh, the weather in the second half just ruined the game. It would have still been hard, I mean, obviously, I I, but I think I threw the game on turn uh, on turn seven. Um, I think I threw the game actually on turn three when when I um, pushed in the wrong square because I was tilted. Uh, but yeah, definitely on turn turn my my turn seven when I did a shit defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't like the score. I used to reload. I mean, the score isn't pro like I'm tilted obviously, and that's why I scored. Um, but I'm playing against the wizard. Um, I think I have as good a shot at scoring as he does um, with the reroll, and I can one turn. Um, so I'm confident in like going in to the half, one one, and then obviously he gets a 
<laughs> you get some situation that just yes. straight up <laughs> ruins any chance of defending. So, yes. um, I mean, I think all the kickoff events favor him quite massively um, in this game. Yeah. I mean, none the more Dubai so won. than this one. <laughs> this was insane. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the following, and my app were not working while this worked. Um, I know where I had, like, a couple of shitty, like, uh, shitty weeks, um, dice-wise. Mm. So, like, I came in the game with the wrong... The wrong uh, attitude. Mindset. Yeah. Fair and I thought the turn one foul was a horrendous idea, and it worked turn two. Oh, it worked both turns for not a sender. Yeah. If you want to be part fine. of team, positive, he's got a dirty player. He's then, got thirteen uh, you've players. Got to suck it up. I'd be fouling your players. Like a baby and yeah, yeah, but I'm not on turn one on okay. a stun. Like, are you are you willing to take a send off for a stun on turn one when I mean, you're not yeah. behind? He is behind. Isn't he? He's got he's got Eldril and a whistle. He's not. His player quality is much worse than yours. Much worse. But on turn one, when he gets that send off, he's already gotten two, K, two one K on a um, gas. Yeah. All so the more he's reason to do it. Ahead. No. Look, his Why player quality isn't his play. The, the removal he got was a shithead. So he, 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 because on numbers, he can afford to lose just a wrestle guy. You know, like it's not that bad for him. So now he's, he's just made it risk free for him to foul, right? Wait, 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 why are you taking the foul when he's already stunned? I, I don't like it. I do, if you have a, if you have a bribe, yes, definitely. I mean, if okay, I wouldn't bribe, have fouled no. a, a stun player, but it's still fine making yeah. the foul. Like it's not it's not the end of the world. At the end of the day, you'd have just no, done it. I'm tilted that it works. I'm tilted that he does it because he did take a bribe. He could have well taken a bribe. I don't think Eldred's that good in this shot because Elder is walkless. Like, what does he do actually? Um, well, he then, makes you score and. <laughs> Early and lose. <laughs> oh, that's not Eldrin, that's the actual wizard, right? But it, it's All both of them. Is bolt. It's both of them. If, no, if you only, if you only have to defend against one of them, it's, it's a lot easier to defend against a wizard. Well, I literally don't care about You should. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, really I mean, should because it makes it like a double wizard, right? It's it's it, it makes it makes that you basically can't defend against the wizard with Eldrin being there as well. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yes, of course, but that's not why I score early. Like, I literally don't care about Eldril. Like, I wouldn't score... If it was only Eldril, if it was Eldril, I don't, like, I would... Or if it was only a wizard. Like, if it was only a wizard, no Eldril, I would still take the score there. Because, like, he's... Like, the wizard can just fuck me, right? No matter what. Like, because it's elves. Like, Eldril doesn't, like... Take into con like he's not what to tip, um, tipping the scale. That's what I mean when I don't care about. Eldrin. I think he does tip the scale. I think that's the thing. Yeah, if it was only wizard, there's no way in hell I'd score either. Try yeah, like it to me. He does. He is what tips the scale because now it means like it's like wizards, uh, vampires with a wizard or slan with a wizard. It's just like it just makes it so much work. Like it makes the wizards so much more deadly when they've got so many tools to like go with it as well, right? So, like, I, I, cause I remember playing, I played with my chorfs in OFL, and I literally just wrote on Fumble, like, how on earth do you beat Slan with a wizard? It just seems insane, right? Because, like, how do you defend against that? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's fun. Yes, yeah. Of course, of course. But, and um, Eldril kind of does I that think... a little bit. It, it, it just makes it down to the dice, basically. Or you score early, and, and then that's still down to the dice, because now you've got to try and, and, and somehow defend against... Elves, but anyway, the the second half was definitely uh, ludicrous, <laughs> and uh, so they started jumped in. That's why I think it was more interesting to, to talk about turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was nothing today. at all, <laughs> nothing at all to talk about in the second half. That's for sure. So, did you misclick on that on that push? And that's what, so you went to get like loads of blocks on Eldril. Was that the idea with the misclick push? Was it? Or was that something oh, else? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. No, uh, it was a misclick push, so I, I could have gotten like seven blocks on him, and then uh, um, obviously pushed him onto the tree. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was it was pure misclick push, and that tilted me further, right? 
Yeah, I, uh, see, I thought maybe you just thought, you know, you needed the players to, like, put a semblance of defence. So my first instinct no, was misclick push. Now, that was my first instinct. Yeah. But then I thought, well, actually, like, you know, if you, blo- if you block bloody Elder, like, seven times, then that's abandoning the defence a little bit for a turn, isn't it? Which I would have still done because it's Elder. <laughs> it's, I mean, exactly. Like, I can get the mighty blow hit in Elder. I'll... I'll take the boat down with the tree on Eldril at that point. Um, <laughs> because, like, obviously, like, casting Eldril, he can't tap Eldril. And I think, um, like, just getting him out, like, it, yeah, I'm abandoning defense, but I've got a war dancer in the middle of the field. Like, I can still threaten the ball with that war dancer, right? And yes. then I have, like, two players down further down, um, one that I missed the edge catcher. So I, <laughs> like, you, you pretend that I'm not threatening the ball, but I'm Wood Elves. Like, it's the dumbest team in the game, apart from Rats. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but it, it's still it's still a turn-off, isn't it? Like, you know, the way he took a turn-off for the foul. It is, definitely. So, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a turn-off, but, I mean, at that point, it's turn three. Uh, if he scores turn three or turn four, really doesn't impact the game. Yes. Right? Um, yeah, it's it's not like Dwarves. Decided, <laughs> no, not, he's already not. decided that... Yeah, he's already decided, uh, all right, I'm going to sit here by your end zone, and if you can push me in from behind, then sure. Well, hey. Um, well, hey. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it was... Uh, I think that threw the game, because like, obviously if I get those seven hits on Eldril, chances are I'll break his fucking arm. <laughs> yes, I I've, I can't remember the last time I had Eldril who, uh, you know, get punched and survive getting punched but there you go um congratulations yeah. look no numbers <laughs> slash level up uh, yeah. commiserations Congra- Dale, congratulations uh well played uh numbers there you go and good luck against against uh whoever against you've got in the next round because there's no spoilers <laughs> exactly <laughs> I, I i try to figure out how, how to say that and then <laughs> figure out that next round is uh it's a good it's a good way Glorious. for finals yeah. That's fucking amazing for someone that's in their first chalice. Yeah, very nice. And uh, Mr. One Hundred Percent. And thank you very much, Dad, uh, Dadle, and Dimmy for coming on and doing some commentary. <laughs> Glorious. Hello, hi, right, Jack. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> no worries. Hello, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.